Okay, welcome back to another tutorial here on our channel at Global Oak Media. Now, today I'm going to be going through how you can add 3D elements into live footage. As you saw in the first clip that I played before, you know, this tutorial came over. Uh, so that's, that's essentially what we're going to be creating today. So a few things that you're going to need for this. It's one... You're going to need your real life footage. The other thing will be the model that you're trying to that you're trying to embed into your real life footage. In this case, it's the custom built Xbot from Mixamo. It's free. You can even get the work animation from Mixamo as well. So first things first, what you want to do is come once you you know you have all your assets. Come into Blender, and the first thing we want to do, we want to go to composition i'm sorry no composition but rather this uh, vfx and then motion tracking and this is what essentially you'll see you can delete you know a few of these things like the light and uh and the sphere and so this is what you see once you get to this point and now from here we can now add our 3d footage Okay, so first things first, you want to go ahead and press the open and you want to locate where you have your footage saved. So once you find it, uh, mine is saved all the way here. Once you find it, you need to click open clip and this is what you'll see. And so this is what we're trying to track and make sure that we have enough tracking points that we can place our CG into it. But first things first, the color doesn't seem right. So go up. Uh, you can change this into cycles uh, change this into gpu compute then go all the way down until where it says color management and you want to change that from agx to standard and that will you know fix your your uh that will fix that will essentially fix you know the color so uh go ahead and we just want to press you know set scene frames once you have you know your your sets in frames and what that does it, it 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 shows you how much you know of your footage you want to track and then you want to prefetch just so blender has you know every single frame so that when you scroll through it doesn't lag then uh we want to come all the way down here and uh, we want to select blurry footage uh, so that this you know switches to previous frame then we want to go ahead and detect features. Uh, we can come here, we can, you know, mess with the threshold by reducing this a bit. Uh, 0.8 should be fine. We can make this distance to 80. Uh, we can reduce the... We can reduce the margin as well, or we can just leave it at 16. And so this, what this allows us is to have more points so that Blender can track it through our scene. So uh, the other thing I like to do is remove all of these track marks that are on my subject because she'll be moving. And just so it doesn't mess with the track, I usually delete those. Then go back, press A to select all, and you want to track this forward. And so we have it until this part. So we can go back to somewhere like here, and we can detect features again. And the same process, just delete the ones that are on your on your subject or, or on, on anything that's moving a car or anything like that then once you do that you want to go back select all track those forward and we have something like that so we want to come back to somewhere here detect features again go back uh, i know it's a tiring process but this is how you know you get the best possible uh, you know tracking information we just want to clean up a bit because now what we're going to do is track all of this uh sorry go back to the very end what we're going to do is track you know all of this markers 
back to the beginning so press a to select all make sure none of them are you know on on our subject and we want to track this backwards detect features again and so you want to go through this process all the way until you're done detect this all the way and then what what you want to do is go go to your cleanup tab you go to your cleanup and this is where you select two frames that have the most movement so in this case I'm uh, I'll go for uh, about 172 and let's say 290 and you want to solve camera motion and so this will help you know how good your camera track is and what you want as you can see mine is pretty high it's 9.97 and you want you just want to go ahead uh, on your cleanup tab and you want to clean tracks so what you can do is you can increase you know you can come back here press a to select all you can increase this and you want to clean uh, you want to go ahead and clean tracks so the more you do this you you just want to go ahead and make sure that uh, as you can see the more I was increasing this you can see errors uh, the track marks that were high on that that were giving me you know a, a bit more uh, this this 9.7 once I do that uh, I can just delete this ones and you want to go ahead and do that a couple of you know a couple more times just so you can have a better tracked scene I'm not going to go through the, uh, the entire details of how to do this there are better videos step by step that will show you how to do, do this if you want me to do that let me know so once you have your you know your solve error which is below you know one pixels what you want to go ahead and do is set as background and that will set your footage as the background and you want to go ahead and select uh, so if we go here we, uh, you want to go ahead and select your flow and then uh, save your you know and then now from this you can go back to your layout and be able to build your 3d scene so I'm going to go back to the one I already did. Um, so if you can always come here and you can click on your motion tracking. And so these are our track marks. So as you can see, all of those are our track points. And that is how it looks. But from our, from our, if we were to go into our camera mode, you can see if we were to so if you're going to build something else on top this is where you would use all of these tracking points but since we are not uh, building anything i'm going to you know have them hidden as you can see this is where now you can place your animation that you got from mixamo and as you can see it sticks to the floor and it follows and it tracks with your subject you know as well as any other as any other thing that you might put so uh, the other thing that's going to come is this ground plane this is what's going to act as our shadow catcher and you just want to go ahead and increase it and scale it up just so it covers everything the other thing that you could do is if you go into your materials you can add a new material for it for the color you can go ahead take your picker and select something that's close to the floor or at least to the ground just so your indirect lighting is you know as good as possible if you were to go to your rendered view our indirect lighting is going to look amazing because the color of our shadow catcher which is now the plane that comes once you track your footage acts as it gives us much more accurate shadows from our indirect lighting and you know depending on how reflective your object that you're adding into your scene 
is so basically that's how you can go ahead and add 3d elements into a live shot that is how i did it. it is very simple I, like i said the animation you can get it from mixamo including the the export you can also get your own model take it to mix some more have it rigged and give it an animation and that will give you the same uh the same effect so that is it for this week i'll see you guys uh again uh in the coming week in case you need anything explained better let me know in the comment sections and we'll go over it next time